This is Harold II and his five hours of life. It's not a happy life, nor is it a long life, but it is a life, a life nonetheless, born into the zombie apocalypse after his predecessor Harold I. He begins with a saucepan, a search of a cupboard, a wearing of the glasses. He skulks outside his neighbor's home, along the thin edge of wall, trying to find a way in. He smashes the glass with the saucepan and then takes away the glass. And then he goes into the kitchen and then he searches for some food. Oh, no, there is a friend over there. Oh, no, look at the friend. He is a friend. Enough of this. Back to the combat goes Harold the second. Blue, black, bludgeoned, the zombies lie dead amongst the grey road, staining the grass. Harold II is more confident than Harold I. Perhaps he will live longer, he thinks. Another purple demon comes upon him, and it's time for a sandwich, a small break in the monotony of combat, some peanut butter, some jelly, maybe it's jam, maybe it's not. Full with the sandwich, his stomach no longer rumbling after a busy morning, Howard II is shaken by a vest clad horror of the depths. He takes a drink, he opens a window with his knife. Except he cannot, because a knife can't open a window. Outside he goes. Pokey, 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 pokey. Poke all the zombies with the knife. And then get the saucepan out. Stop the singing. Time to move on, thinks Howard the second. But first, a snack. A nice long snack amidst the crimson fields of death. They keep coming from every angle, no matter how hard he tries. Round the corner they come. Just leave me alone, he thinks. And then he finds what he's looking for. A glistening rifle. A beacon of crowd control. He thinks, I'll try this out. This low hanging fruit with the scissors protruding from the back but he can't, he can't hit a thing his aim is weak he goes round in circles and then realises that noise is deafening it's attracting them all far too many to deal with I've made a massive mistake thinks Harold II as he retreats down the road uncertain what awaits further down he takes a shortcut across the grass, sodden with the corpses of his previous friends and family. He can't even count how many are converging on him, so he jumps the fence. He leaves his gun for the future, either himself or a future friend. Whatever he thinks, he's lost control. There are just too many everywhere he turns and twists. There are more and more. It's getting tragic. It's getting dramatic. The door just does not open, no matter how hard he tries. A saucepan, his trusty saucepan. All he has left. His weakening strength. He spies an opening. Some high ground, he thinks, only to find. The door is shut. His fate sealed. They plough into him, one after another. Harold II, forever dead. <laughs>